Unit 6, formative 2, day 5, frequency tables and histograms. The data below are the numbers of hours per week a group of students spent watching television. What is the histogram and frequency table that represents the data? Use the interval size of 4. Okay, so what we want to do first is we want to put our numbers in order. Okay, so if we put these numbers in order, we would get 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 14, 14, and 22. Okay, and since we're doing interval sizes of 4, what you do is you figure out what's your smallest number. So my smallest number is 0. So I start at 0 and then I count on my hand. So I count to 4 numbers after 0. So you have 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0 to 3 is 4 numbers. Then you go to the next number. So next number is 4. 4, 5, 6, 7. So 4 to 7. And then you start with 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. So 8 to 11. Then you have 12. 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you have 16. 16, 17, 18, 19. And then you have 20. 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, and you go until your last number is in one of those intervals. Okay, so that's how you pick the or that's how you make your intervals. Start with your smallest number, go until your last number is in there. Okay, and it'll tell you always what's your interval size. Okay, and now we have to figure out okay how many of my numbers from my data set are between the numbers zero and three, and we can count zero and three. So we count. We have one, two, three numbers. So you put a three here, and then four to seven. So one, two, three, four, five. And then 8 to 11, 1, 2, 3. 12 to 15 is 1, 2, 3. There are no numbers between 16 and 19, and then there's 1 between 20 and 23. Okay, frequency means how many times does it show up. All right, so now we've got to make a histogram. So you make an L graph. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 intervals. Okay, so your first one is from number 0 to 3. 4 to 7, 8 to 11, 12 to 15, 16 to 19, 20 to 23, and then the biggest frequency you have is 5. Okay, so the first one from 0 to 3 goes up to 3, so it's kind of like making a bar graph. So you go up to 3, over, and down. And then from 4 to 7, there's 5, so you go up to 5, over, come down. And then from 8 to, you're fine. 8 to 11 is 3, so up to 3, over, down. And then 12 to 15 is also 3. 16 to 19 is 0, so you skip it. And then 20 to 23 is 1. Okay, number 2. The number of home runs by the batters in a local home run derby is listed below. What is a frequency table and histogram that represents that data? So put your numbers in order. Okay, so if you put those numbers in order, it goes 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 7, 7, 9, 10, 12, 12, 14, 15, 17. Okay, so I'll make my frequency table. It says intervals of, it's not listed, intervals of 3. Okay, so we start with our smallest number, so 2. And then you just count 2, 3, 4, so 2 to 4. And go to 5, 5, 6, 7, so 5 to 7. Start at 8, 8, 9, 10. Start at 11, 11, 12, 13. Start at 14, 14, 15, 16. And last one, 17, 18, 19. Okay, and then how many numbers are between 2 and 4? 1, 2, 3. 5 and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 and 10, 1, 2. 11 to 13, 1, 2. 14 to 16, 1, 2. And 17, 19, 1. Okay, make your L graph. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 intervals. Your highest frequency is 4. Your first interval, 2 to 4, is 3. So you make a bar up to 3. 5 to 7 is 4. And you can color these in if you want. Um, 8 to 10 is 2. 11 to 13 is 2. 14 to 16 is 2. And 17, 19 is 1. Okay. All right, so now we got to talk about types of histograms that are either uniform, skewed right, skewed left, or symmetric. I'm going to put symmetric over here. Okay, so if it's uniform, what that means is that your bar graph, uniform means the same. So really, 
all the bars are either exactly the same or pretty close to the same. So that would be a histogram that is uniform. Skewed right means you have some sort of outlier, a, a large outlier that's pulling the data up. So that means the majority of your data is over here, but then you have a bunch of little data, one or two, over here on the right side. That's called skewed right. Skewed left is just opposite, meaning you have an outlier on the left side. So you have maybe outliers over here, and then you have the majority of your data over here. Okay, and symmetric means like perfect, same on both sides, so it's kind of like a step ladder. Just goes up and comes right back down. Okay, so on these we just need to name them. So this first one, it goes up and comes right back down, so that is called symmetric. This one starts low and ends up here, so the majority of my data is up here. You look for where that little tail is, so my tail is on the left side, so that's called skewed left. And in this one, it goes down, so majority of my data is up here, so I have outliers over here, so that's called skewed right. So if your tail's on the right side, it's called skewed right. All right, so that's histograms.